Welcome to Heroes on Our Island. I'm your host, Christine Persichetti. Every week, we bring you inspirational stories of Long Islanders who are making a difference in their communities. On today's show, Artists with Autism, a new exhibit that showcases the artistry of people with this disability. Plus, weight loss inspiration will tell you who a local woman who battled her weight for years says was her driving force in losing it. And striking out cancer, getting his head in the game after brain surgery, but cancer won't keep this picture down. That's all coming up on Heroes on Our Island. We begin today at the Art League of Long Island in Dix Hills, where as you can see, there's an exhibit called Perspective. The artist of every one of these masterpieces has autism, so this puts their ability, not their disability, on display. 25-year-old Brian Mannion loves to draw. Ever since he was diagnosed with autism at the age of five, this Port Washington resident has been picking up his pencil and creating masterpieces. Ever since I was a kid, I saw one of the animators from Warner Brothers who draw a portrait page from episode, You Ought to Be in Picture. So I thought I can make up my own. And he did. Brian actually created his own universe of superheroes. It's about something like when I dream about to create their own superheroes. So I have to make up the ideas and I test it with their own characters in original body parts and around the heads when I trace those every bottles and coins just to make sure how size it is. He's a perfectionist. Everything has to be just right when he draws his characters, which he calls spy tunes. Bouncy is a basketball character that I designed it. It makes me think we'd like to be a a biggest fan of NBA players. He proudly shows us his artwork, which, thanks to the Kiwanis Club, was on display at the Art League of Long Island in Dix Hills. In an exhibit called Perspective, all of the works hanging on the walls of the gallery were created by young people who have been diagnosed with autism. It's the brainchild of Doris Molina, the Lieutenant Governor of the Suffolk West Division of the Kiwanis Club. I emailed a number of organizations dealing with autism and I couldn't believe the response. They, they just were so thrilled that there was going to be a positive aspect being focused on rather than the negative. The whole point of this Kiwanis Club project is to raise awareness of the disability. Volunteers from about 300 clubs worked on it together. The exhibit started as a small idea. We wanted to do something different and think out of the box. Nearly 70 artists with autism from schools across Long Island submitted their work. These are the wonder characters I added from Tiny Toons Ventures. I made them grow older, so I like to call them teenager toons. Brian's mom, Kathy, tells us art opened up a whole new world for her son. He's very creative, always was. Um, always liked to sketch, always liked to draw, and it really became something that he discovered he really enjoyed and then that became a gateway for him whether it was increasing his communication because he could talk to people about his artwork or um, increasing his social skills because when he was around his artwork uh, there were no barriers the autism seemed to diminish more this is Scorsese the golf player my dad loves playing golf and he was very comfortable having conversations where um, in other situations he weren't. So it kind of became something that uh, he came to rely on um, for it, both enjoyment and getting him through some tough situations as well. Situations he encountered as a student at a mainstream school. It was something that helped him through, something like a crowded cafeteria that could be very noisy and uh, uh, have a lot of people in it and be a sensory overload for him. He would take out a sketch pad and the next thing he would have a crowd around him, but he didn't mind because it was about his art. Brian even made a character based on himself. In my dream, I like to draw the animation look like me in it with a spy suit and I even draw the heart symbol with the New York City because I thought everybody in New York City would love to try my own symbol in the history. His symbol seems to have made an impression on the artists and art critics who walk the halls of this gallery. It's just awesome. You know, and, and people going through the Art League here are saying that, uh, you know, they, they're just amazed at the, the talent and the creativity. It's just astonishing. 
Kathy says even when he was little, Brian would amaze them at what he could draw from memory, including every detail of, say, the front of their house without looking at it. Extremely proud of his art and everything he's accomplished through his art and very, very thankful for all the people that have supported him through the years to get him to where he is today and hopefully continue on. And she's grateful Brian got the chance to share his art with others. I think this is a great idea. You know, there's very few opportunities where people on the spectrum get to showcase their ability rather than their disability. And this really gives me hope for the promise for the future that there'll be more and more opportunities like this for people to really understand all of the unique uh, capabilities that people on the spectrum have and not just look at what they can't do, really showcase what they can do. Brian hopes to make a movie about his characters one day so he can share his ideas with even more people. I wish everybody in the whole world likes to see it, that I create it. Big aspirations plus a lot of ambition could add up to a bright future. I think with opportunities like this that the Kiwanis Club and the Art League have provided and all the support that has been built around Brian and his artwork and the enthusiasm for it and his work ethic and determination, the sky's the limit. The Art League of Long Island is a nonprofit organization that's been around since 1955. Up next, after years of trying to lose weight, we'll meet a local woman who finally shed the pounds and find out who inspired her to do it. He just knew what to do. He gave me all the foods to eat and uh, saved me. And later, it's the biggest win of his life, but for this pitcher, it has nothing to do with baseball. You're watching Heroes on Our Island.